this is our stream boot application you can see that we have controller repository data model first I will show you the bomb file this file contains dependencies for Spring Boot and MySQL connector next I will show you tutorial data model it has four field ID title description and publish this data model class correspond to entity and table tutorial in MySQL database next tutorial repository this is the interface that extends JPA repository for group method let me show you here We're gonna use self file by ID, file on, delete by ID, delete, delete on. We also define some custom file parameters. Here is file by publish status and file by title that contains a string. This tutorial repository will be otherwise and used in tutorial controller. This controller is a REST controller. It provides API for creating, retrieving, updating, and deleting finding tutorial. Here you can see that we guess on tutorial by title or file on using tutorial repository methods. Get tutorial by ID using file by ID. Create a new tutorial with self methods of repository. Update a tutorial using self an existing tutorial. Delete a tutorial by its ID. Delete on tutorial using delete on tutorial repository methods. And the last file by publish status here. We also need to configure string data source and JBA hibernate in application property files. Now we're gonna run this Spring Boot application. Everything is good. This is our Angular Google Trash structures. Let's look at package file. Here is Angular 10. And we also use OSJS system. There are three components, tutorial list, tutorial detail, and add tutorial. We also have a service for crew operation to REST API. Let's continue to app model. In addition to our components, we also have form model and HTTP client model. We define rules for our in app routine model. The tutorial will point to tutorialist component with ID 
we have tutorial detail component and ask for add tutorial component let's open app component the app component is the root container of our application it will contain enough element we also have router outlet which is a placeholder for router state now for tutorial data service this service will use angular http client to send http requests you can see that its functions include group operations we gonna use http get port root delete for group operation and get for final methods with title as parameter there are three components correspond to three groups here so look at editor component this component has form to submit new tutorial with two field title and description we have a button that invoke the tutorial the self tutorial method will use tutorial service create methods to send requests now look at tutorial list component we also import tutorial service and use its get on, delete on, and fry by title methods. Look at its template. You can see that we have a search bar with title as the input. And when click on the search button, we will call search title. There is a list of tutorial here and uh, when we click on an um, item we call set active tutorial with current index this will show the tutorial data here When we click on edit button, it will direct you to tutorial ID group. Let's go to tutorial detail component. This component import tutorial service. Then you is get by ID, update by ID and data and the list by ID methods in the template you can see that we have title, description and public status we also have unpublic and public button delete button and update button that will invoke these methods in the component here now we're gonna run this angular application